right, we're gonna do Libra real quick. All right, let's see. slippery cards expression being able to share your feelings openly okay so okay so I feel like what this is saying Libra for you is that if you let's say you're in the room with somebody and it's like you go back and forth in your mind of the thing, the right things to say. And I feel like what that saying is be spontaneous. And if you get an impulse, uh, an impulse to say something, I feel like that's going to be more organic. Okay. So that's what I feel like instead of overanalyzing it. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Awareness. Distracted or filling life with other things. Look for love, dating. Okay, so now that was coming up as using a connection for entertainment because of boredom. Okay, so um, for some of you, I feel like you've been focusing on other things other than love um, because you feel like uh, you don't want all the emotions that go along with things not working out right. Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, so let me get another one. I feel like you're more aware of yourself, though, through these experiences. And through connection is how you learn, right? Okay. Connecting on a deeper level, complex feelings. Okay. Now, I feel like this is for someone who has water, rising, or moon. And... Oh, it may not be someone who has rising or moon. It may be someone in the family that is a water sign that has a lot of influence in your life. Now, if that's the case, ask yourself this. Have you ma been making all the important decisions on your own? Or has the <clears throat> there been some sort of outside influence? Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Winding road. <laughs> Having a long way to go <coughs> and taking many detours. Excuse me. You might be dealing with a Taurus. <coughs> Is that the Uranus energy? Hold on. Okay, so someone might be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. Okay, so mm, connecting on a deeper level. Okay, so we're having a long way to go, taking many detours. Okay, so many loves. Oh, okay, so this is what I'm getting. Okay, someone had a mother. No, I don't know if it's past tense or present, but has a mother that um was very mm, loose <laughs> okay very um so what is it so what had many partners okay And for someone that had an influence on how you moved in your love life. Okay. So take a look at that. But I feel like what it's saying here above all is that for, for one person, look at that person now. Um, they've found contentment. And I feel like that is possible for you too, Libra. Okay. What is this? Golden cage. Break free from stress and toxic relationships. Okay, so I feel like for some of you that could be family members. Okay, getting away from those patterns of behavior 
that are going to help you in your career, in your love life, and all the way around. Okay. I feel like this is work stress for a lot of people. Okay, let me see. Oh, control issues. Okay, so ask yourself this. Are you not in a partnership because uh, you want to control the outcome or everything that goes along with being in a connection? Are you taking responsibility for your part, right, in the connections? Okay. Stepping and steering. Oh, my God, that came up in all those other readings. Okay, but I'm picking up British. Okay, so what is that? So someone might be going to the British Islands. Someone might meet someone that's from Britain. For some of you, I feel like that's new career opportunities in Britain. Okay, expanding out. I'm getting like a network. Okay, so expanding out. Okay. So, let's see, power balance. That's what I, there was a reading that was equal give and take. And I feel like that was a Leo reading. So, I feel like what that's saying is to have more confidence in a connection. Practice equal giving and taking. Giving and receiving. And I feel like that'll balance things out. Equality, respect, and care. Have mutual respect and shared responsibilities. Okay. So, was one person holding all the weight in a connection and if that was you libra then you want to in your new partnership you want to search for someone who is also uh giving okay okay calmer waters okay psalm is that psalm 91 i don't know anyway um okay so Getting rid of upheaval and leaving drama behind. Okay, so I feel like drama is the old you. There's a song called No More Drama uh, by someone. Okay, anyway, what is this? Plan ahead. Prepare for a rainy day and stay flexible. Okay, so I feel like in the past, if you're in a boss position or a leadership position, you might have been more rigid with your schedule than you needed to, and they're asking you to... Uh, let up a little bit on that and enjoy life a little bit more okay now I feel like you're keeping an eye on someone for some uh, mail okay adapt foresight and invest okay so I feel like this is the motion for you to invest in a new connection here okay and for someone this rainy day is like someone from uh seattle or washington or something like that somewhere that rains a lot which is also britain right okay so flying high feeling infatuated or uh, having an intense affair Woo that sounds steamy okay and this is what it's saying missing the moments you shared together nostalgia reflection and looking back okay so someone might still be coming back in that's one and the other thing is when you have this nice connection coming in, it's like, don't look back. Keep moving forward, okay? I feel like this is like the the scales. One minute you're happy and one minute you're not. And it's like one minute you wish you would have and this and that. It's like, just enjoy the new... Oh, here we go with the power plays again. Wanting to dominate or control the relationship. Influence and insecurity oh okay now insecurity in this reading was uh in another reading was uh covering up your insecurities with materialism with material stuff money making yourself look big when you feel small inside okay so that was one that was for another sign okay and then um influence you want to be influential in your working world this could be for someone who is an influencer. Okay, but that's what it's saying. Let loose a little bit. I feel like for someone who is a boss or a leader, um, female or male, um, what's happening here is you're taking that control thing from work uh, to your love life. And that's not 
it's like let the flow in baby steps take your time and build your love slowly with care okay and that's going to help you reach a place of stability in a connection finding your balance and not rocking the boat okay poise calm and and stable steady okay and this time you're not going to get lost in the relationship you're going to be able to take care of yourself while you're connecting to someone else and that's a nice energy self-care and sanctuary okay and taking time out when you need it i feel like what happened was someone got enveloped in some sort of love affair and it was like all about that and it like burned out fast too okay so we want to try to avoid that okay and this protection energy could be an earth sign let me get some tarot on that. Let's see. What's this earth sign want? Okay. So, uh, whatever this experience is that you're having, they're willing to go the distance and go the distance with you. Ooh, two knights. What is that? Ten of page. Oh, now for someone you have an air sign that's prevalent in your life and you had a child with them and it seems like your obligations to that still exist. So whenever you go get with anybody, I feel like you just have to go slow with the partnership because you have obligations elsewhere. Now, for some of you, this is someone that's been keeping an eye on you. Could be an ex, because we did get that. Could be an ex that's been keeping an eye on you. Okay, and they want to come moving towards you. Okay. But I feel like you, they see you as a great uh, manifester. Oh, I feel like the dynamics have changed. Before, you looked up to them, and now um, they look to you for guidance, some sort of guidance. Okay, so I feel like they want to move into a stable place with you if it's an ex with the children that you've had. If this is not children, the earth sign is... Uh, wants to move in a stable place with you a place with no regrets and this is like don't take shortcuts when it comes to manifesting and creating okay Woo! all right oh my gosh ten of cups Nine of Wands reversed. This is telling me that you've dreamed up this grand love design. This you've you've dreamed up this grand love design, and you haven't gone towards it. Okay, five of, what is that? Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, for some of you, it was because of money uh, disagreements. Some, it's money stuff at work. You felt like life wasn't fair. For some of you, that could have been small legal challenges. Okay, now what is this? Three of Cups reverse. I like that in the reverse. Thank goodness. Okay. So for some of you, I feel like this swamp water is <clears throat> um, getting through your subconscious mind. Bringing things to the light. Let's see. 
Eight of Wands. Okay. So they're saying move swiftly when you get the impulse to connect or communicate. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is like holding back what you... This is like hold the opportunity not opening up because you're not when you get the impulse to connect with the love or lover or potential you're not you're thinking about it too long it's like move swiftly move yeah swiftly move two of wands move in the direction of it Okay, so it could be a um, earth sign or water sign. They're saying don't hide it. If you have emotions for that one, let it out. See, I feel like you're hiding it. Knight of, what is that? Polar bear? This is like a harpoon, arrow, or a wand, a knight of wands. Love has been like a fly in the ointment. Polar bear. So someone lives in a cold region. That's what I'm getting with that. They could be an air sign too. Another air sign. Polar bear. And Yeah, it's, it's repeating. When you get the impulse, don't think about it. When your heart uh, says something, follow it. Okay. Yeah, it keeps telling me the same thing over. You've been holding it back. See, what is this? The cage is coming out again. Two of, what is that? Two of Swords. Two of Swords and Two of Wands. Okay, so that's like balancing your heart and mind to make the move. Oh, Jesus. And the reason why you don't make moves is past experience, whether it's conscious or unconscious, trying to avoid a disaster. But see, here's the Fool it's saying... Uh, you don't have to be reckless, but you need to make the move, fool. And what is this? There's something with this four energy here with the cups. It keeps popping up in the front. Give me another one. Let me get another deck. I gotta see that. Now that's an earth sign that you don't think po positive about. Or a water sign. That's for someone. And what about it? Work out ways play today, but you don't need to do it all alone. Look to those who can work as a team to make project from concept to production. Okay, if you've had some shady people that you've been working with, maybe try new people. It may also be time to revisit any stalled projects. Sometimes bringing in new blood can rejuvenate things. You may be approached by a committee. Okay, so uh, fresh energy. Bring in your fresh energy. Okay, young, youthful energy. And... The fool doesn't hold grudges, and that's, oh, that gets you in, in the place where you feel like you can offer up love. Okay, so you must focus on the direction you want to go, or you might find yourself lost in a daydream. Emotions are high when this card shows up. 
your best course is to let yourself feel but don't lose sight of your primary purpose so see that's that sword in the in the wand it's like align the heart and mind and then make the moves you don't have to just move uh in a reckless way all right let's see one more three of three of swords see that's the fear yeah the fear that causes it not to move okay okay but it can change it's up to you libra it's up to you you gotta move and then the um see there's that leo energy okay so take a look at uh, do you have a healthy ego that might be a question you ask inside and out see you got all these cards that keep saying strength and charisma that's that's like encouraging you to move move Woo! okay so if you take action right see two of strengths on the bottom okay so find the courage to make the moves that's the, your reading i leave you with that 